Questions and comments, the Honourable Member for Courtney Alberni. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and, and uh, I, I want to thank the member for her speech. And one thing, I just want to pivot a little bit to a, a subject that we haven't touched on. And Mr. Speaker, we know that uh, at CBC Marketplace just outlined that over 9 million Canadians right now have low credit ratings. They're going to alternative lenders that are charging outrageous amounts of between 30 to 50% annually for interest that people are, are caught in that trap. Someone identified it as being in a hamster wheel. Um, it's absolutely outrageous since the Bank of Canada uh, you know, uh, floor right now is less than 1%. Um, does my colleague agree that there needs to be a better process and that the federal government needs to intervene? Right now it's on the backs of the provinces and actually cap these rates because we know more and more people are going to be falling into this trap, especially with COVID, with job losses, people losing their businesses, struggling to make ends meet, to pay their bills, and they're looking for help and they don't qualify for financing. Does my colleague agree that the federal government needs to step in because I'm sure, like in every riding across this country, you can find these alternative lenders uh, preying on uh, everyday Canadians that are in trouble. Well, member for Calgary, Bidnapur. Well, I want to thank my colleague for the question. Mr. Speaker, I really believe at the root of all of this is the economy and what is the necessity that Canadians have been brought to these positions of which my colleague speaks of. It's the economy. It's the loss of good paying jobs. And now, Mr. Speaker, we have added billions of dollars to the debt where we're at over 1 trillion, 1.1 trillion, $400 billion deficit projected for this year. And looking forward, no way out of it, as I've talked about for the last 12 minutes. So I definitely share the concerns that the good member raises. But I think more importantly is why were Canadians brought to this place where they have to consider these conditions for loans and what are we all going to do to get out of it? Questions